Scientists have been interested in the origin of black holes for decades. Because of their distance and lack of visible light emissions, their documentation and study have proven challenging. But researchers and scientists working with the James Webb Space Telescope recently made a stunning discovery. They claimed a major black hole discovery. Astronomers uncovered an unusually powerful infrared signal from a distant galaxy, suggesting a supermassive black hole at its core. This shocked scientists and astronomers worldwide, suggesting the JWST may be more powerful than previously imagined. Imagine the signal is supermassive black hole evidence. If so, it may illuminate black holes and galaxies' origins. JWST's black hole discovery will be fascinating. How will it do all this? The JWST has advanced imaging and solid infrared sensors. These properties allow the telescope to image distant and enigmatic things in space. Scientists will first study the black hole and its surroundings. These results help scientists understand how galaxies and their stars form. They'll learn about black hole physics and their surroundings. Since we don't know much about black holes, the discovery may affect our understanding. A black hole is an area of space-time with such tremendous gravity that nothing, not even light or other electromagnetic waves, can escape its event horizon. According to general relativity theory, a sufficiently compact mass may bend space-time to generate a black hole. The event horizon is the point beyond which there is no way out. Although it significantly impacts the fate and circumstances of an item passing through it, General relativity states that it has no locally visible properties. A black hole resembles an ideal black body since it does not reflect light. Furthermore, in curved spacetime, quantum field theory predicts that event horizons produce Hawking radiation with the same spectrum as a black body with a temperature inversely proportional to its mass. The temperature is in the billionths of a Kelvin range for stellar black holes making direct observation unfeasible. A black hole's presence may be deduced, though, by its interactions with other matter and electromagnetic waves, such as visible light. Any item that falls into a black hole can create an outside accretion disk that gets hot from friction. This creates quasars, some of the brightest things in the universe. Stars that travel too close to a supermassive black hole can be torn into dazzling streamers before being swallowed. Observations from the JWST have shown the presence of carbon-based compounds near black holes in the centers of distant galaxies exactly where scientists had believed they didn't exist. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs, are tiny organic compounds abundant throughout the cosmos. They are organic in the chemical sense of containing carbon and hydrogen. But before this new evidence from JWST's MIRI, it was considered that they couldn't exist near black holes since they'd be ripped apart. The JWST MIRI gives us a tremendous chance to see galaxies in ways that have simply not been feasible before, says Dr. Ismail Garza Benetti, an Oxford University researcher and principal author of a paper outlining the findings published in Astronomy and Astrophysics. We were ecstatic to discover that these organic molecules can live in incredibly severe environments. PAHs create intense infrared light which makes them great candidates for researching with JWST. The researchers looked into the centers of three separate galaxies. They discovered PAHs in each near the galaxy's core supermassive black holes. Nonetheless, the PAHs were affected by the black holes. More massive neutral PAHs were near the black holes, suggesting that smaller charged molecules were still annihilated. Our discovery is of considerable relevance to the broader astronomy community, particularly those interested in creating planets and stars in the most distant and dim galaxies, Garza Bonetti said. It is incredible to think that we can observe PAH molecules in the nuclear region of a galaxy, and the next step is to analyze larger samples of active galaxies with different properties. This will enable us to better understand how PAH molecules survive and which are their specific properties in the nuclear region. Such knowledge is vital to using PAHs as an accurate tool for characterizing the amount of star formation in galaxies and thus how galaxies evolve. 
Scientists revealed the JWST's spectacular vision of a galaxy cluster merging around a gigantic black hole that shelters a rare quasar, an incomprehensibly bright jet of light shooting from the chaotic core of the emptiness. We believe something big is going to occur in these systems, said Andre Vayner, a John Hopkins astronomer and co-author of the research. This depiction is especially intriguing since the quasar in question is a highly red quasar indicating it's incredibly far away from us and so physically anchored in a primal space area near the beginning of time. Since light takes time to travel across space, every stream of cosmic light that reaches our eyes and devices is perceived as it was a long time ago. Even moonlight takes around 1.3 seconds to get to Earth, so when we look at the moon, we're looking at something that happened 1.3 seconds ago. More precisely, astronomers think it took around 11.5 billion years for the object's light to reach Earth, implying that we view it as it was 11.5 billion years ago. This also makes it one of the most powerful detected from such a great distance. This categorization reveals how each galaxy participating in the spectacular merger behaves, including the one containing the extreme black hole and associated red quasar, the only one the scientists anticipated discovering using NASA's multi-billion dollar telescope. What you see here is just a tiny portion of the data collection, said Nadia L. Zakamaska, a John Hopkins astronomer and research co-author. There is just too much going on here, so we started with the greatest surprise. Every blob here represents a baby galaxy merging into this mother galaxy, and the colors represent various velocities and everything is moving at an exceedingly intricate manner. Zakamska adds that the team will begin to disentangle the movements and improve our vision even more. But we're already seeing stuff that is much more fantastic than the team anticipated. Hubble and the Gemini North Telescope earlier showed the potential of a transitional galaxy, but not the swarm seen with the JWST's incredible infrared instruments. We felt we found signs in prior photographs that the galaxy was like interacting with other galaxies on the way to merger, since their forms are deformed in the process, Zakamska said. But once we had the web data, I was like, I have no clue what we're looking at here. What is all this stuff? We spent many weeks just looking at these photographs. According to the scientists, the JWST soon revealed that it saw at least three distinct galaxies traveling at breakneck speeds. Scientists think this might be one of the most densely packed sites of galaxy formation in the early cosmos. This complicated artwork is captivating in every way. We have a giant black hole, a highly uncommon jet of light spewed from that black hole, and a swarm of galaxies on a collision track, all seen as they were billions of years ago. Around 100 million of these black holes that fly through the galaxy may appear bizarre. However, while our galaxy has many black holes, they are still relatively far from our solar system because space, like our galaxy, is enormous. According to the experts, the closest rogue black hole should be about 80 light years distant. The nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is four light years or around 24 trillion miles distant from us. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.